One of the best parts of my job is getting to meet people who are changing the world. At only 24 years old, our next guest is doing just that. Ashlyn is an occupational therapist who chose to work with special needs students in one of the most impoverished school districts in the county. Her dream is to give her students the best chance for a bright future. Please welcome Ashlyn and her husband, Brett. So this is a surprise to you. You were backstage, you thought you were here for something else, and then, like, what, 10 minutes ago, they said you were on the show? Yes, we Absolutely. thought that we were coming to sit in the audience with everybody else. So. Yeah. yeah no. And so all of a sudden, you're on the show. Yes, it's crazy. Well, because crazy. you're 24 years old, and you're doing something absolutely amazing. I mean, this is, uh, it, it's so important to hear stories like this. Okay, so uh, what do you do at the school exactly? I'm an occupational therapist in the school system. So basically what I do is work with different special needs kids. It can, you know, vary from profound to just minor disabilities. And I just try and put a smile on their face and teach them as much as I can. And this is, uh, tell me about that, ex that, that county. Ex Brantley County is one of the highest, like, poverty levels in the state, as well as probably in the nation. Um, uh, that so many kids qualify for free and reduced lunch that so they've actually just made the whole entire county like have free and reduced lunch. Wow. Um, yeah. There are people that pack lunches and send them home with the kids every weekend during the summer that are, there are buses that go around and make sure that these kids get fed. Because otherwise they, 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 they might not. They would not. Right. And so you don't live in Brantley. You, no. you actually travel to work there. Yes, I am. We live about 30 miles away. About 30 minutes. 30 yeah. minutes. So you could have worked anywhere. You could have done anything and you chose to travel to this area to help. Yes. Well, Brantley County, I mean, the people are amazing. Um, I know that I could have worked anywhere and probably gotten a better salary. Yeah. But I mean, these kids make it so worthwhile. And what is the best part? What is, what is the best part and what's the most challenging part? Okay, the best part of my job would have to be helping these kids and putting a smile on their face, knowing that like I'm helping you know making a difference that is the, the most amazing thing um, the hardest part would have to be taking the job home with me because these kids you know Brent and I are just so blessed to have like a family to go home to a support system uh, you know a roof over our head you know our dogs food, food on and, our table yeah. and things like your that. your dogs are adorable yes. by the way I saw, I saw the picture of your dogs we're obsessed, obsessed. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean how ridiculous. <laughs> that little one with the little folded over ears, ears like that. They're both rescues, so uh, they're mixed. So, <laughs> so, and this is in Georgia. You, you, yes. Georgia. Okay, so the Brantley School District is, uh, it, it, you, you're, you're doing so much for the actual district itself. Not, not only are you working there, tell everyone what you do every year. Well, every, every time I get the opportunity, I like give t at least 10% of my salary back to the kids. So if that means buying new equipment that I can work with each of them on, or Brent knows like every holiday or anything that Making comes around. Making brownies and cookies, that's my favorite part. Yeah. So I, always, <laughs> I always sneak them when she's not looking. So I make sure that they all have, and to make them feel special is my biggest thing because yeah. I never want them to think that they don't have somebody that cares about them. Well, first them. of all, at 24 years old, to have that, uh, to, to know that it feels better to give and help somebody mm -hmm. at 24 when most people are thinking about themselves is, number one, is amazing that Thank you do that. You. And then to take 10% of your income, which is already reduced because you choose to work at right. that school, is really incredible. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to get technology into the schools yes. and explain why. There is just such a high need. You go into the schools and they probably have, like, they don't have enough computers for each of the kids, let alone, like, an iPad per school. So you can tell that they just don't have, you know, what they need. Um, I love working on the iPad. I bring my iPad every single day because some of these kids need, you know, with the communication, the speech devices and different things like that, they need that. And it's important, you know. Yeah. Just yeah. some school, school systems have better opportunities and kids are, have more access to things like that. And just, just giving them access to it and ha on an equal playing field. Well, especially these the kids because, like you said, they need the voice activated. Mm -hmm. They Sometimes that's that's the only way to communicate. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. So uh, we wanted to give something to the school. Andy Zener has a basket that will be... <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. So what I want you to do... You know that. <laughs> Start over here, and, and if you'll just swipe that the other way. All right, so now Shutterfly wants to give you $10,000 for the school district. See what happens if you swipe that one. That's the, another $10,000. Swipe this one. Another $10,000. Another $10,000. Shutterfly wants to give you $10,000 for the county. <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Jill. You are welcome.